Hey everybody, it's Valen from Mischief of Mice, here with a bit by bit on random things. Today, we're going to be covering the rain shield. A rain shield is made simply with a piece of flint, a blaze rod, and three pieces of nether rack in a crafting table as such. And you'll get one of these little sticks here. You just place it down on the ground and it will accept a redstone signal. Now if it is raining, allow me to demonstrate. Change it to rainy weather and you can see it actually starts with this little animation of a torch. It doesn't actually give off any light, but with the rain going, if I flick the switch and turn the lever off, you can see that it actually will protect against rain. Now it didn't actually stop the rainstorm. If I go up really high, it's not going to make any difference. If I come down, it's not going to make any difference. It's essentially about a five chunk uh, radius. So allow me to demonstrate by zooming out here. And you can see I've got, it's about uh, every redstone block represents about 10 blocks. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about 80-ish, a bit more or less, depending upon where you place it in the chunk. Uh, but it, So it's about 80-ish blocks uh, radius. And you'll see when I get down here to the edge of this, there's the edge of the rain, just like that. <laughs> Pretty darn neat. Uh, I love it uh, because I don't know how many times um, people will have uh, rain just like happen every day or every three days or three times a day or something. I don't know, it's ridiculous sometimes with these uh, spawn rates. And then of course you could just shut it off if you want if you need the rain to come back, not a problem. Uh, now it does have uh, another option and that is uh, essentially uh, just to, not really an option, but just to demonstrate that uh, it actually works as intended, you know, so it will protect from fire and so on. Very simple device, very, very useful. Hope you enjoyed it and Till next time, see ya.